Alright. Yeah. Math right. Math right. Quadratic formula. Wait, how does that go again? Oh yeah, I got it. Alright, so this is how you say it. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. Hey, welcome to Math Thrive, where we develop your conceptual understanding, your procedural fluency, and your critical thinking skills to help you become one step closer to success. My name is Oren, and today we're working in Integrated Math 2 lesson. I need to start writing these lessons, but we're like lesson like 36 or something like that. Maybe 35. Okay, maybe 34. Okay, yes, I think it is 34. The quadratic formula. Dun, dun, dun. The quadratic formula. So... The quadratic formula is one of the most difficult things to learn in Algebra 1, if you're in Algebra 1, but in Integrated Math 2, you have some difficult stuff you are encountering every single day. So, the quadratic formula is just icing on that difficult, challenging cake. Alright, so, uh, let's work through the quadratic formula. The first thing we have to ask is, what is the quadratic formula? Alright, so if you are new to YouTube and searching what the quadratic formula is. There are so many different things. People made songs about this stuff. Uh, my favorite is the Pop Goes the Weasel one. You'll see it on YouTube. Like there's a little weasel running around stuff, so, and they say the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. Now, no worries, though. I'm going to make my own song to this because that's the type of teacher slash tutor I am. I make my own music. So, you will have a nice way to remember that the, the quadratic formula other than using the Pop Goes the Weasel melody. This formula is... I do not know if it's going to be on your formula sheet or not if you do take a standardized test concerning the quadratic formula. I know that it is in Algebra 1 in Georgia. I don't know about any other state and how they do their thing when it comes to formula sheets and how much they love and respect the quadratic formula enough for you all to not have to memorize it. But if you do have to memorize it, the quadratic formula is negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And the only reason why I know it is because I am a teacher and I say it all the time. You can't forget this stuff. Like, once you're, you're teaching it for the rest of your life, you, you, you don't forget it. Alright, so one thing you need to know is after you have your quadratic formula down, or just have it written down, or just have it in general, um, just find out what your A value is, your B value is, and your C value is. You're going to use those to substitute in numbers for your quadratic formula. Now, on this problem, we has, it says that everything is looking good and it's equal to zero, right? That trinomial is equal to zero. You have to, if you are going to have a step, step number one is you have to make sure that they're equal to zero. Make sure your problem is equal to zero before you start saying what A, B, and C are. <clears throat> now, in this case, A is one. It's the number in front of X squared. It's, it's invisible for that. Uh, B is 9 and C is 9. Okay, B is 9, it's in front of the X, and C is 9, the number is by itself or the constant. So when we plug this into the quadratic formula, we get negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 9 squared, I'm just going to write it 81, minus 4 times A, which is 1, times C, which is 9, all over... 2 times A, which is 1. Okay? <clears throat> the next thing you're going to do after you've done that is just work it down a little bit. I know that 2 times 1 on the bottom is just 2. The negative 9 stays the same, plus or minus the square root. 81 stays the same. But you can do this one right here. Okay, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 9 is negative 36. So you can actually handle that a little bit. Now, right, we write again, x equals negative 9 still stays the same, plus or minus, but under the square root now, we have 81 minus 36. 
Um, you can put in your calculator. I believe it is. I have no idea. I have um, whew, a four. I'm putting in the calculator. I can't do this stuff in my head all the time. Okay, look, look, man. I'm getting. I'm getting old, man. Forty-five. Okay, that's forty-five. Square root of forty-five all over two. All right. Let's see. Does it, is it is it looking like anything? No, it's not looking like anything yet. But I can start eliminating stuff because it's not the square root of 117. And and when you start reducing your um, square root, you're not going to get 117 after that. So um, when you start reducing your or rewriting your square root, it's going to be a smaller number. So it's going to be one of these two. Okay. I always I think we can honestly uh, stop right here. We can use process of elimination and pick that out pretty well. I mean, that's, this is a positive 9 right here, and that's a negative 9. We have a problem with a negative 9 just chilling, so I would just say that it's A. But, I need to show you how to do it all the way. Alright, we can do the process of elimination stuff on the next, uh, on the, on the next one. Alright, so, um, they want us to reduce the square root of 45. We know that because, um, in the answer key, or answer choices, this square root of, uh, square root of 45 is reduced. So, the way that we reduce, um, I'm just rewriting square root of 45 to reduce it. The way that I reduce is using the factor tree method. There is a video for this uh, that I've made before. Okay, so I just, hey, two numbers multiply together to give me 45 is 9 and 5. Okay, cool. 5 is a prime number, so I leave it alone, but two numbers that multiply together to give me 9 are 3 and 3. So now 3 and 3 are prime numbers as well. So 3, 3, and 5 are all prime. Once you have gotten all primes, this is like prime factorization, what you're going to do next is you're going to circle any pairs of prime numbers that you have. I have a pair of 3s. So that means I'm going to write 3 as that value right there on the outside of the radical sign and on the inside of the radical sign is what's left over. The prime number that's left over here is a 5. That's how I reduce radicals, okay? So plus or minus right there, the negative 9 is still there, and the 2 is still there, and that gives me my final answer for this type of problem, which is A. Okay, went over all that this time. It should be a little bit quicker when we move on to our next one. <clears throat> now, at this point, if you so desire, you can pause the video and try these things on your own. But if you didn't pause the video or if you already paused it and now you unpaused it, let's move on to number two. We have 3x squared plus 4x, but uh-oh, it's not equal to 0, so we can't do our quadratic formula. So I'm just actually going to start by subtracting 2 from both sides to get this equal to 0. Minus 2 equals 0. Now I can find out what my a is, which is 3. My b equals 4, and my c equals negative 2. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I hope the song I made is more catchy. Um, I'm probably going to write the song tonight just because I, I, want a, I want a new song for this thing. Something that is catchy, something that's better than any YouTube videos. Song that has been made for the quadratic formula. Hopefully it's better. More than likely it's just going to be the same as everything else. Probably even worse than cat, uh, Pop Goes the Weeds. Let's be real. All right. Yeah. Math right. Math right. Quadratic formula. Wait. How does that go again? Oh, yeah. I got it. All right. So this is how you say it. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC all over 2A. 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 All
Hey. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. All over 2A. All over 2A. All over 2A. All over 2A. 2A. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. All over 2A. 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 X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. All over 2A. All over 2A. All over 2A. All over 2A. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. All over 2A. Negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. X equals negative B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC. All over to A, all over to A, all over to A. Negative four plus or minus the square root of four squared, which is sixteen, minus four times what a which is 3 times c which is negative 2 all over 2 times 3 okay and that's x equals that all right i'm going to let's see um ways that i can reduce or simplify some stuff x equals on the bottom we have a 6 we have a negative 4 there plus or minus the square root 16 is still there Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And then negative 12 times negative 2 is a positive 24. You don't have to do it like I'm doing it. If you need to make a little bit extra steps to figure that out, go right ahead. <clears throat> One of the key things I see people making mistakes on is they don't put this plus sign there anymore, that minus sign. You know, they, they don't separate the 16 and all that. They, they think they have to multiply the, these together. Don't do that. That's the biggest thing that I, I see happening with um, students when I'm grading papers and stuff. Alright, so negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 24 is, um, shoot, um, wow. That's 40. Alright, all over 6. Okay. Let's see what 40 is. Um, let me write off to the side. I'm doing some prime factorization or the factor tree. Two numbers multiply together to give me 40 or 4 and 10. 4 can split up. 2 times 2 gives me 4. 10 can split up. 5 times 2 gives me 10. I have two pairs of 2, so on the outside of my radical sign, I'm going to have a 2. And on the inside of my radical sign, I'm going to have the 5 and a 2. In the, on the inside because there's no pairs for those ones, right? So those actually would multiply back together and give me 10 on the inside. On the outside, I have plus or minus, and I have a negative 4 right there. <clears throat> and I have my 6 on the bottom. But hey, it doesn't look like any of my answer choices. Wow, it doesn't look like any of my answer choices at all. So, what I have to do here is understand something, okay? Well, I have to understand that this is really saying negative 4 plus or minus 2 square root 10 all over 6 is really saying x equals negative um, 4 over 6, and this is plus or minus, and then this is 2 square root 10 over 6, okay? This is just another way to write it, just to really picture it, okay? Because I'm going to present something to you. We've got to simplify our fractions, okay? We have a 4, a negative 4 over 6, and we can reduce that, right? We have also a, if you look at the number on the outside of the radical sign, you have a 2 and a 6, so you can reduce that as well. 
So if I just left them, left them um, like this, it, it would be negative two plus or minus, and then the other two goes away. This this square root of ten now, all over three. Because this is like negative two over three, and this one is plus or minus. Um, the two goes away here, but then the three is on the bottom, so this leaves you with square root of ten over. 3 there and then you just would combine them back together just rewrite them back together um, to make it look like your answer choice that you're looking for so this one looks a lot like uh, C yeah looks like looks like C answer choice C that's my answer and I'm sticking to it quadratic formula alright number 3 which of the following is the solution of all this stuff? Okay, um, x squared plus 5x. Now, I'm going to move my 2 over. So, it's plus 2 equals 0. So, my a value is 1. My b value is 5. Make sure you're doing the same thing that I'm doing. C value is 2. Don't just watch and be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And then, well, what do I do? No, you do the same thing I'm doing. Move that stuff over. Say what your a, b, b and c are immediately. Alright, then do your little quadratic formula stuff. You, If you have it written down somewhere close to you, cool. You don't have to rewrite this every single time, the, the, the formula itself. I don't honestly have to do it either because I have it memorized, but I do it for y'all. Okay? Hopefully I did it right. Negative B plus minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Yep. Saying it fast like that, man, that's all a part of that rap. Okay, let's let's go. Let's plug in um, x equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root. 5 squared is 25 minus 4ac. <clears throat> Alright, so um, I, I wish I could just do it ahead of time, but I, I, I like putting this extra step in for you all to see this one right here. All over 2a, right, 2 times 1 is 2, so I'm just leaving it like that. So I skipped that one. Alright, x equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root, uh, let's, 25 minus, um, minus 8. <clears throat> All over 2. Alright, x equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root, 25 minus 8 is a shoot, uh, wow, hmm, well, um, that's like, uh, What's that? Square root of 17? Is that 17? Yeah? Square root of 17. I'm looking at the answer choices now. Square root of 17. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, 25 minus 8 is 17. All over 2. There's no reducing it. There's no rewriting this because um, 17 is a prime number in itself. There's no numbers that multiply together to give you 17 other than 17 in itself. So therefore, the answer has to be D. Because of the negative 5, you know, it's a negative 5 right there. Alright, there's, I think, one more problem for us to look at. The other problem is uh, for a different class, a different video, different everything. Alright, so let's look at the last one that we will be working on today. Which of the following is the solution of... 4x squared, now i got to move over, over my 9x, my negative 9x, so it will be a positive 9x now. Now I'm going to move over my 4, so it's going to be a positive 4, and now it's set equal to 0. So my a value equals 4, my b value equals 9, and my c value equals 4. Those numbers look big if they're not a 17. Uh-oh. Alright, let's go. This time I'm not even going to write the quadratic formula down, even though I said I'd do it for y'all. This is the last one. X equals negative 9, neg negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 9 squared, which is 81, minus 4, 4, 4, all over 2 times 4. Alright, x equals negative 9 plus or minus 
the square root. I'm running out of space because I wrote it too high. So I'm going to try again. Uh, Alright, um, let's see. X equals negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 81 minus 4 times 4 times 4. Wow, um, that's like negative 64. So that's a negative 4 times 2 positive 4. That's negative 64. Put it in the calculator if you don't trust me. It's, it's okay. I, I, all over 8. Alright, so inside of the parentheses is 81 minus 64. I believe that's 25. Is that 25? Yes, no, no, it's not 25. Use the calculator, man. Calculator. Got a calculator right here. I don't have to do this in my head. I like to do it just to show off and feel good about myself. This is still 17. Alright, so we have negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 17. All over 8. Alright, so square root of 17 again. I don't know why they did that, but it is answer choice D. Alright, thank you so much for your time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe for notifications of more videos. That's all I have for today. Please leave a question in the comment section below. I will get back to you in another video answering that question, or I might answer you in that comment section below. Go to MathRob.com to request tutoring. I will be more than happy to help you in any kind of math stuff that you have dealing with in your life. I don't know if I said that correctly, but properly. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not speaking well. Anyway, thanks so much for your time and enjoy the rest of your day, guys. It's never too late. Go to MathRob. Go to MathRob. Go to MathRob. You got a low grade. Go to MathRob. You need some math aid, go to Math Thrive. Yeah. It's never too late, go to Math Thrive. Go to Math Thrive. Go to Math Thrive. Yes. You got a low grade, go to Math Thrive. You need some math aid, go to Math Thrive. It's never too late, go to Math Thrive. Go to Math Thrive. Go to Math Thrive. You got a low grade.